Right. It is Thursday, January 6, 2022. They're doing the shoveling and I'm not going to time lapse it because they just started. Um, but yeah. And so, um, I am gonna see, once I get dressed, if the laundry room is available. Alrighty. Hmm. I need my phone cord because I gotta transfer a day off my phone. Alrighty. So, uh huh. Tuesday. Oh, they're all mixed up. They're overlapping in the box. Maybe we should have done your idea. Tear it open. People watch these to see the panels opening and closing. But like, clearly they had to tape it to keep it from falling. Okay. Day four. It's another thing similar, except this. Oh, and the fidget spinner. And you can poke it. I've never had a fidget spinner. I wasn't allowed. But I was also too old for all You weren't allowed. You were like 20. <laughs> Wasn't allowed. Day five. Even though something moved into day four. I think they're all mixed up. It's a chair box noise. It's just that things have gotten a little complicated. Complicated? You use me, Jeffrey. No, not entirely. See, I, I had to. It doesn't mean that I was... care for me. Please let me go. Yeah, really. To you guys communicating. I have the baby yeah. family in my work. I am going to be looking to see your process of being able to resolve an issue by talking about it, whatever that is, whatever small little thing that is. Having Joe around is kind of like a crutch for us and we can always lean on her when needed. Yeah, tell her thank you. I love you so much. Yeah. Bye. I'm... Victory never tasted so sweet. RuPaul's mm. Drag Race. New season tomorrow at 8 on VH1. I'm a little nervous and she won't be here to help us along the way. <laughs> well, if I did this, mm -hmm. tend to... You can borrow this. Thing. 
In other words, you're looking for me to pay McGinty here a hundred and fifty. Hi, Carrie Hobson. I'm going to talk to you about the tax to point out to uh, I'm doing a story on yeah, so I'm gonna talk to her about the taxi to to change that. because mm -hmm. I don't want to have that yeah. to be me walking. You want me to write down the Abbey Van thing so you remember? Abbey Van and um, and North Central Caravan. Okay, so Abbey. What was the other one? The. Yeah, I'll get the number. Perfect. Wait, wait, wait. Let me try that one more here for you. I knew he was in Vietnam. I used to the Midwest taxi, taxi, write that down. Abby Van's phone number. I was going to say, you can have it all over in fast tracks, though, right? Mm -hmm. Like this regular track. And then, you see a stop sign? Yeah, split your recycle. Because I don't see a stop sign. Yeah. You, you see but a stop sign? But then you have these kind of cameras. No, 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 you can get no, no, someone to do whatever she does. That's what I mean. Oh, yep, yeah, I know. But, yeah, but she's kind of cam. Yeah, 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 she's kind of cam.
different chairs for free, but then I, before that, I got to contact something else to get, like, a referral to the thrift store, okay? Like, United Way or something else or whatever. So, yeah, because that would save me money. So, um, yeah, so I'm gonna get going with my shower and finish my keyboarding. She understood I will clean up this mess up here, especially this corner and everything else. So, all right. Out, guys. <clears throat> so, yeah, I am going to get myself dressed and clean out my ears like dry them with a Q-tip. Sometime next week, I'm going to get my hair cut. Around that time, so you'll be seeing a different style hair. So, alrighty, I'm going on my PJs now. My leftovers, and um, yeah, this is a bourbon chicken, and I'm gonna have the left, um, what's left of uh, the sushi. I have one more roll after this, so. If I'm still hungry, that is. yourself useful get that doctor back in here okay what did you decide Fred G56 G54 I18 O64 
over. Hey, Hobbs. Sister Mary, there's something I'd like to show you. Marks. What's up, man? What you doing here? I told you I'll call you when I'm done. Done with what? I'm working. Working? You walking down the street. Yeah, well, I'm running some errands. Well, anyway, uh, what time do you think you'll be done with that? Because uh, I got some things I need to do, and I'm going to need your help. What, tonight? Yeah, tonight. No, no, I can't do it tonight. I got to do this. All right. Um, I don't care how early it is, guys. I'm going to catch up on my sleep because, you know, I've been feeling really tired all day. And even though I didn't nap for about an hour, I'm still feeling ugh. And it's only 6.44 p.m. And I did try the last five minutes on timing on a lesson. What lesson am I on? Lesson 33. And I got 38 words per minute but I got five errors instead of four so that's why I didn't save but um yeah I'll uh try again when I can't sleep if I can't sleep anymore I'll try again and so I'm gonna brush my teeth and go to bed because yeah I just, uh, I can't stand myself. I just need to relax, I guess. My eyes are just goofed up anyway, so my door's locked. I'm going to get fresh water in my bottle here and um, grab a piglet and go to sleep. If I can't sleep the rest of the night, like I said, I'll go back at it but I won't film all that okay all right asbestos, and radon. As I hinted towards in the post, I tend to go really overboard with projects. Also, no one in my family history has any mental illness. The only thing even remotely close is situational depression, as in only depressed over a certain situation in life. As that event goes away, so does the depression. I am not on any kind of mind-altering drugs. I don't smoke or drink alcohol anymore. It's been like three years since I had a beer. I just don't have time for that nonsense. At Slumberland Furniture, save $400 on select mattresses. Plus, get $200 in Slumberland cash. Everything around us, the sky, everything looked normal. We looked normal, although obviously our minds were extremely confused. And our bodies were still very cold. Although the environment was warm, but we were very, very cold. Almost hypothermic. And this would have been the only evidence of what happened to us. But unfortunately, when we managed to enter the company, the cold had already disappeared. Our bodies returned to their normal temperature. Obviously, our parents did not believe us, and nobody did. But it would be useless to try to deny what we lived through. It really did happen. It was not our imagination, and obviously, we were not drugged. That ex